Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you how to create playlists in the Music app on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 900 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when you're using the Music app on your Mac, whether you have Apple Music or just your own music collection, you can create playlists of songs. These are kind of like mixtapes. You can put any songs you want in any order. So here I have a small selection of music in my Music app. I'm not using Apple Music here. These are songs simply purchased from iTunes, ripped from CDs, or bought from another service and dragged and dropped into music. So of course I can look at albums here and go into any individual album and listen to the album. I can go to an artist and then from there I can select the artist and listen to any album or song. I can also go to Songs and select any song to listen to. But an ideal way to listen to your music is to create your own playlist of songs from anywhere in your collection. So one way to start a playlist is to go to File, New, Playlist or Command N. This will create a new playlist and then you can name it. And You can see it here has no items or anything like that. You can add a description so you can go in here and create a description that you could use to remind yourself of why you created the playlist. Now to add songs to it all you need to do is go to any view where you could see songs. So let's go to the Songs view here and then you could drag and drop a song from the list into the playlist. So you can do that with any song anywhere in your list. If you go to the Albums view here you can then go into an album and then take any song from that and drag that in as well. And even from the artist list here you can drag and drop a song into a playlist. You could also click the three dots button next to any song and there you could add to playlist or it usually lists the most recently added to playlist at the top. So you have easy access to it if this list is long. You can add a song to a playlist that way. If you select a range of songs you can drag and drop all of them and you can see the icon there is the number 4 under it and I can drag all of them there. If you try to add a song to a playlist that's already there it will prompt you whether or not you want to add it again or skip that song so it's only in the playlist once. Then you can go back to the playlist and see all the songs that are there. Here you can rearrange the order of the songs by simply clicking and dragging. and You see how easy it is to reorder everything to get it in the perfect order. You have here the image for the playlist which is going to combine up to four different album artwork images so that it creates this simple automatic image. But you could also click on this and then select your own. So you've got defaults which are all the standard icons you see for user accounts on your Mac. You could also go to Recents, ones you've recently selected if you've used a bunch. And you could also select Other and Other will then prompt you to load any image from your hard drive. So you can really use anything as the image for your playlist. And anytime you want you can rename the playlist or change the description. And here at the top you've got your controls. You can play the playlist which will start it with the first song and play it all in order. Or you could shuffle the playlist which will play it in a random order. If you want to take a song out of a playlist you can select it and simply hit the Delete key on your keyboard. Note that this removes the song from the playlist. It doesn't delete it from your library. So you can create as many playlists as you want for different situations. You can have playlists that are very similar. Say have many of the same songs. For instance you might create a short workout playlist and a long workout playlist. And the short workout playlist may have five songs that you want to hear when you work out. The long workout playlist may have those five songs and another five songs. Now you can also create something called a Smart Playlist. If you go to File, New there's also Smart Playlist. A Smart Playlist is very different than a regular playlist. You don't pick the individual songs that go in there. Instead you give criteria for selecting the songs automatically from your library. For instance you can use Artist Contains and put the name of an artist in here but you can also add another artist. And you have all sorts of other criteria like the genre or albums or all sorts of things. Even the song length you could say you want songs that are not greater than 5 minutes. You can limit the number of songs. So for instance I could have a playlist with all the Beatles songs in them but only 25 selected at random. And you can get really complex using match all the following rules or any of the following rules. Also you can keep adding new criteria or hold the Option key down and then the plus changes to three dots and have extremely complex 
queries so that the playlist will always match a very strict set of criteria. If you have Live Updating turned on the playlist will automatically update. So for instance if you were to buy a new album and some of the songs met this criteria the playlist would automatically include those new songs. So for instance here I've set it up so it's going to be rock songs less than 5 minutes in length and it's only going to pick 10 at random. So I'll hit OK and you can see I've got the playlist. I can rename it. It says it's a smart playlist and it has 10 random rock songs that are 5 minutes or less in length. Now if you have a lot of playlists here whether they're smart playlists or regular ones you could add folders to organize them. So go to File, New, Playlist, Folder and it creates a folder like this. So you can do Workout Playlists and place them all in this folder here that you can then open and close. And then you can create another one that's called this Relaxation and it's actually going to create it inside the Workout folder so you can nest the folders. So because I had the Workout folder selected when I chose to create the Relaxation folder it put it inside. But I could easily drag and drop it out of it. So now I've got two folders here so I can put a bunch of playlists in each one. So it can really organize to your heart's content. And notice here if I go to the Workout folder I'm going to get a playlist here that has all of the playlists contained in that folder. So you could create say Workout 1, Workout 2, Workout 3 for short workouts and then select the folder and play or shuffle that and it will play all of the songs in all of those playlists. Now this works exactly the same if you have Apple Music. You just have a lot more music that you could add to playlists. But of course syncing to other devices is going to work completely different if you're not using Apple Music or iTunes Match. If you're not using either of those services then you're going to have to manually sync your music. In other words connecting your iPhone or iPad to your Mac and then choosing what songs, albums, artists, and playlists to sync to that device. Performing the sync and then everything is then on that device and separate from your Mac. So you would have to make a change on your Mac and then sync again to your iPhone or iPad to see that change. One cool thing you can do with playlists if you have Apple Music is you can share them really easily. You can just choose to share it with a friend or you can make it public in your account so other people can find it when they search. And then somebody else with Apple Music could easily play the same playlist. Of course they have access to the same music that you've got since you're both subscribed to the service. So you can create your playlist like a mixtape and then send it to somebody else and they can enjoy the selection of music that you chose. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.